If you're planning on hosting an afternoon tea and you've never made tea in a teapot, or you rarely do, it can feel just a little intimidating at first. You know, how much tea do you put in the teapot? How much water? Do you fill it all the way to the top? How many servings are you going to get out of this teapot? Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonia, and if you're new here, thank you very much for stopping by. You know, the general rule is one teaspoon of tea or one tea bag per cup of water, and that's your serving. But there are so many teapots out there. I mean, these are just a few that I have, and look at how many different shapes and sizes and styles there are. I mean, you can't know how much tea to put in one of these teapots until you know how much water you're dealing with. So, let's go to the kitchen. Let me show you what I do. Now, inside a teapot, no matter the size or the style, the one consistent feature is the spout hole opening. Now, I use that as my visual measuring guide. Fill the teapot with water to about a half inch above the opening. Now, if your teapot is one of those more open concept where there is no real estate between the opening and the lid, like this little guy, I just fill it to about halfway of that opening. Now, you might be tempted to fill the water all the way up to the top, up to the lid, but if you do that, when it comes time to pour the tea out, it's very likely you will also be pouring it out of the lid as well as the spout, and you will have a mess. Now, once you've filled the pot with water, use a measuring cup and pour out one eight-ounce cup at a time until the pot's empty. Now you know how many cups your teapot will hold. And you'll know how much tea to put in by the one-to-one -one ratio. So if your teapot, for example, holds four cups of water like this one does, you'll put in your four cups of water as well as four scoops of tea. That's your one-to-one -one ratio. So let's do that. Oh, and don't forget the extra scoop for the teapot. By the way, while we're waiting for that to steep, here's a tip. Once I know how many cups a teapot holds, I label the bottom. Since I hand wash my teapots, I don't put them in the dishwasher. The label stays on just fine, and I don't have to try to remember what each pot holds. Ah, but this is where a cup is not a cup. Although each of these cups is shaped differently, they each hold only little more than six ounces. And that's just, just below the rim. You're going to want to leave room for milk or lemon, whatever. So you'll be pouring up less than that, closer to four ounces, which means you should get a couple more servings out of the pot than you might expect. But also know that once the tea is steeped, the tea leaves will have absorbed some of the water. So let's pour up the tea and see how many servings we can get from our teapot. You can also use the bottom of the strainer as sort of your guide as to how far up to go. Okay, I'm on cup number five. I'll do a little more in that one. There's six. I think I need a couple more. Wow. I could go a little bit more. No, I think I've got to the end of it. All right, so seven cups of tea out of a four cup teapot. I think that's pretty good. Now we have a lot of tea to drink. 
<laughs> and there you have it. Making tea in a teapot need never be intimidating again. It just takes a little planning to know what to expect. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing for more tea videos. Until next time, bye-bye.